So guys, I'm a bit late with this by a few days, but Westworld Season 3 has got another trailer coming out of San Diego Comic Con, and yes, you guessed it, it's time to break down everything new and perhaps things you may have missed that we learned in this exciting new trailer for the upcoming season. So first of all, we hear Dolores narrating over the beginning of the trailer, explaining how her and her new hosts are outnumbered in the real world. That they need to be smart if they're going to survive, but ultimately the highlight I feel here is that she's saying that she's going to show this world for what it really is. Now we can't forget about what her main motive is, and that's to essentially get rid of the human race so that hosts can flourish. Amongst all of this new footage, we get an extended version of the scene we got from the first teaser trailer around a couple of months ago of Dolores and Cable's first meeting, uh, with this time actually seeing Cable cradling Dolores after being shot. It's also very interesting to note that this very scene is where she says that very line that she's going to show this world for what it really is, when that seems to be almost ironic since Aaron Paul's character Cable seems to represent from what we know now the opposite of what Dolores has come across before. So I believe that this moment is also the beginning catalyst for Dolores' changing perspective on humanity this season. Now I went over this topic quite extensively in my previous Westworld video which I'll leave in the cards above titled What Role Is Aaron Paul's Character Playing in Westworld Season 3 where I explore how Dolores' journey has led her uh, to this perspective on mankind but that it will be likely influenced and changed for the better due to the role of Aaron Paul's character who we have come to learn recently is called Cable and his relationship and impact he'll have on Dolores this season but but hold on to that thought till later on in this video when we revisit that again. So I'm thinking that perhaps she's either saying these beginning lines in the trailer to whichever host is now in the body of the imposter Charlotte Hale and posing in the real world as her, which is something we'll tackle in a second as well, but it's also entirely possible that she's saying these lines to one of the new hosts that she's created with one of her host control unit spheres, if you will, which we see her browsing over in the trailer when sat opposite this new body. Now, I wonder which host she really is creating here, or let's just say bringing back, but it seems that it could be the same woman we also see Dolores hugging in bed a few scenes later, who also looks like it could be the fake Charlotte Hale host, but you know, regardless, her identity is still also a mystery as to which host is in that body. And it makes you think that it's possibly someone Dolores already knew and was even quite close to in her life as a host. But for now, we can't really be sure who is in the mystery host control units that Dolores brought back from the park at the end of last season. Dolores also acknowledges in these opening words that there are machines out there in the real world, but they're not like the hosts of Westworld. And given the scenes that we see from Charlotte Hale in the trailer, who we know from last season is really, you know, as we just went over, a host in disguise and infiltrating the humans with the power, authority, and reputation that Charlotte held, which is mighty handy for Team Dolores. However, I'm now starting to think that even though these machines in the real world aren't hosts and are generally used to assist in jobs such as construction, as we saw in the previous trailer with the character of Cable, it could make sense that Dolores has instructed the Charlotte Hale host to perhaps somehow gain control over all of these units or maybe just a handful of them to perhaps assist in an uprising of sorts. After all, we do see a few of these machines acting outside their normal function in the trailer, with one even being mowed down by a few armed security. So this could very well indeed go wrong for Team Dolores, as we do see the fake Charlotte Hale host fleeing the scene while shooting behind her, as what we can only assume is something that went very, very wrong, and perhaps in doing so got her exposed. We also hear Dolores saying in the latter of the trailer, I thought your world would be so different to mine. It isn't. This line somewhat mirrors even what Cable was saying in the first teaser trailer we got for Westworld Season 3, where we were introduced to his character for the first time, with him describing the world as sometimes it seems as though the world looks alright, but inside it's rotting to pieces. Either way, I'm sure she's saying that to Aaron Paul's character, Cable, and back to what I was saying a couple of minutes ago, we have learned that his character, and I quote, will challenge Dolores' notions about the nature of humanity. 
Now, this is very interesting because we know that Dolores is quite hell-bent on getting rid of humans. But if there's this one guy who she's surrounded by throughout the season and he isn't acting like the human she's come across before, then there's bound to be some reconsideration taking place in her mind that not all humans deserve to be wiped from the planet. This also links me to talk about what we see of Bernard in the trailer. From if you guys remember, Bernard was brought back by Dolores in the real world, but wasn't so hyped about joining the bandwagon of human cleansing. And since then, uh, from the trailer, seems to have exiled himself to the countryside and become a farmer or something. But the connectivity here is that in the trailer, we see him revisit the park, and specifically what we see in the trailer, the storage room of hosts, in which he states, that he's trying to find somebody strong enough to stop her if it comes to that. So with what we have learned about Cable and how he's going to challenge Dolores' notions about the nature of humanity, will Dolores take a step back enough for Bernard to not bring back this mysterious host who can rival Dolores? Now surprise surprise it seems that we're getting new parks and the prominent one we see in this trailer is uh, with Maeve in the World War II park which is supposedly called War World. Now you also have to assume that Maeve was brought back to life by Felix and Sylvester after what happened in season 2 but it looks as though Maeve is looking at the War World Park host version of her with her own narrative within that park which we don't know the extent of yet but it seems like this other version of her is in love. Unless this really is still the same Maeve who has marched into this park. It's also hard to tell if this is Hector that she's walking in the park with uh, but this journey for Maeve feels similar to what we saw last season with her other version in Shogun World if she does in fact meet a World War to um, War World host version of herself here. As to why she's gone on this journey to War World is still a mystery but Maeve is badass and I can't wait to see what unfolds for her character this season. We also see some other quick moments in this trailer such as Stubbs who you guys may remember last minute was revealed to be a host. It seems as though he's arming himself. Uh, Aaron Paul's cable is dangling over the edge of a building perhaps by Dolores before changing her mind or perhaps this could be where Dolores saves him after he saves her. I mean really there's not much to go off here. The trailer at the same time seems to introduce new cast members such as Tommy Flanagan who I really really loved from Sons of Anarchy and I'm sure you guys might say the same as well. Uh, here you can see in this scene it seems as though Dolores is in restraints so what is going on? I mean could this be just before where she gets shot and where Cable seems to meet her wounded in that alleyway or under that bridge in the first trailer? Uh, from her wearing this similar attire to that scene. We'll have to wait and see. Now earlier we spoke about that scene with the imposter Charlotte shooting as she's running away and perhaps being exposed. Well this scene with new cast member Vincent Cassell, sorry if I butchered that name, seems to fit right in with that as he might be pursuing her. And just who is John Gallagher Jr. playing? I mean it seems as though he's being approached by Dolores, uh, they might be at a party, but maybe he is vital to her plan. Does he have access access to things that she needs. And one of my favourites left until last is in the trailer we get Bailey, any man in black, as what circumstances surround him, you know, can make your brain turn upside down. But we see him perhaps in some kind of sort of loop, if you guys remember considering the story surrounding him is kind of this host and human hybrid success, but with William, uh, he seems to be getting very frustrated in this room and even shooting at things on his desk. So who also knows at the same time what kind of part in time uh, this could be in with the whole Westworld kind of time stuff being quite a popular thing they like to play. However, the showrunners have come out and said, for those of you who are worrying that maybe it might come across as the more complicated season two as perceived by a lot of fans, that this season will be a lot more character driven with a lot less guessing and stuff like that. I mean, of course there will still be mystery and all of that jazz, but expect it to be less complicated than season two at the very least if you're worried about that even though I really liked it. Aside from that, Westworld fans, that is more or less the gist of everything we learned from this latest Westworld trailer. Uh, let me know all of your theories and speculations down in the comments below. I'm dying to hear them just because 
you know, big Westworld fan here. Want to get more of a Westworld discussion going on on this channel. Uh, so yeah, leave everything you thought of this trailer down in the comments below. But other than that, if you did like this video, show your support for the channel and the Westworld content by leaving a like on it. Subscribe for more Westworld coverage just like this. Uh, but other than that, thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys have a lovely rest of your day and I'll see you hosts in the next video. Goodbye.